Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com. In today's podcast, I wanted to discuss some crazy news that the Daily Mail just released with regards to a partner at Ernst & Young in the UK. And the partner, there's a partner that got in trouble for telling a female trainee that he was going to do something sexual to her. And I was kind of shocked to see this um, because it said it happened on a company ski trip and during COVID it didn't really make sense, but it has happened a couple of years ago and I guess the partner barely got reprimanded now. And it is, I guess it took a while for the investigation from ENY to take place, but on this ski trip, the partner said multiple inappropriate things to a younger trainee and he was a partner. He sh- he was a partner of 16 years. Well, at least now. So back then he was partner 15 years. And I'm guessing he was drunk. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but he was definitely saying inappropriate things. It took you and why a couple of years to get to the bottom of it, but they 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 got to the bottom of it and they fined him 75,000 pounds. And he also kept his job. I'm not sure how that's how that happened, but they said that he's he's going to have to take diversity and inclusion training, and I think it's he probably needs to take sexual harassment training from ENY, but also externally and needs some coaching because I don't even know how you make partner and don't know that that's inappropriate because there's so many trainings. It doesn't matter that he's been at the firm for a long time. He should definitely know better, especially as a, an executive level professional. And I, I think this is just the environment sometimes the big four accounting firms of the big four accounting firms are big on establishing relationships within the company. And this results in a lot of happy hours or it used to, I don't think it's the case anymore because of COVID-19. So I don't think you should see this too much. I mean, what you see now would probably be something like a texting scandal, maybe. But I don't think this should happen too much. But it used to be the the nature of these partners, especially since the partners are younger. A lot of them are 40s and early 50s. And some of them just like being around young people. And you have that dynamic of younger people and older people. And you just get into this weird environment. And then sexual harassment ends up happening. And I, I guess what I'm trying to say is is I think it's okay to have time away from the people that you work with and it prevents these type of situations. But if you have these situations of constant team building, happy hours and ski trips, you're going to have inappropriate things like that happen. And especially like sometimes you, you, you have firm trainings where you go to an offsite location, everybody's staying in the same hotel, things like that. I think and I think that's fine, but I don't think everybody needs to mingle all the time and quote unquote network all the time. Cause it just, to me, it just results in more things like this. And I think COVID, that is one benefit of COVID-19 is it has probably reduced the number of incidents of these things. I mean, human beings are going to be human beings. So I, I think you're going to have these outliers like this person. I'm not saying I'm not making an excuse, but I'm just explaining why these things happen. And because we used to have a lot more of these stories and I think we do still have a few trickling back from years past, but I don't think since COVID-19, I don't think it's as, it's as many as we used to have. This episode is brought to you by Boomer. Boomer helps you ace the interview at the big four accounting firms. And it does this by helping you practice on questions typically asked on the big four interview. And if you use the link or promo code big four, and if you use the link, which goes to tryvoomer.com slash big four or the promo code BIG4, then listeners get 10% off their purchase. So go ahead and check out their website, tryvoomer.com and see if you like all the tools they have that can help you prep for your big four interview and you do choose to purchase it, make sure to use the link in the show notes because with that link, you're going to get 10% off or make sure to use our promo code. All the details are in the show notes. And with that, I wanted to cover another story. Uh, there's various vaccine requirements across the big four accounting firms, but it seems like the most common one is uh, th- there's a vaccine mandate if you're going to go back to the office or a client site. There's some recent news out of New Zealand 
in Deloitte specifically that they've come out with a policy that if you're going back to the office, you're going to have to be vaccinated. And I think that's, there's nothing normal about that. It's a little bit of news in New Zealand because they've established a vaccine mandate for, for their employees. But I have not seen news yet. Offic- I have not seen official news of a big four accounting firm uh, requiring their employees to be vaccinated to maintain employment. And it'll be very interesting to see what happens in the United States because, and just other countries too, because some of these other countries require you to be vaccinated in order to be employed. But in the United States, they're trying to push for vaccine mandates for any employment for employers over 100 employees. And this would definitely impact the big four accounting firms. But I think that the big four accounting firms are not doing it yet. I think they're really there running the numbers. And a lot of companies, a lot of government institutions are also running the numbers because they're going to have huge attrition. Or, I mean, maybe it might not be huge, right? Like, it's only going to take a couple of percentage points to severely impact the number of engagements, uh, severely impact revenue for the year, uh, maybe recruiting as well. So I think that's why they haven't done it. I think there's also tons of legal implications. Uh, so I think that's why we haven't seen that. And then we've seen this consistent, this mandate for going back in person and also why the big four accounting firms have allowed people not to ch- choose not to work in the office. And I think it's also just because people, a lot of people want to work from the office, uh, from home to feel safer in general for, with COVID-19 and just in general because of all the fear out there. But that's just another piece of news. But that's the podcast for today. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast to get future updates and check out the show notes for helpful links. Thanks for listening.